Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another Pika card reading for all of you. This is a Pika deck reading, by the way. I did not start in anything. You can see that I will do the live shuffling for all of you. So, today, topic of Pika card and deck is about messages from your person. Um, no contact or least contact or whatever. This is new love or old love that you're wanting to know about this person's all about your person. This is all about your person. What's going on with your person? What is their next move, their current feelings? Their intentions towards you or when they're going to approach you when they're going to contact you basically okay if there's there's a no contact and what is the future of this connection everything all about you and your person right but especially about your person the person who is missing here absent here this is all about their energy we're going to channel it their messages their feelings their thoughts intentions and their future prediction uh, so keep an open mind this is a general reading take what resonates and leave the rest but you can also reach out to me for personal reading if you're interested. Uh, contact me on my email address and also my Instagram link. Everything is given in the description box. Check, it out, check out and contact me if you're looking for it. So let's start the reading. There's a three groups in front of you, three decks with this beautiful stone on it. Option number one is the modern witch tarot deck with these rose quartz. This is amethyst, de amethyst uh, stone. And then we also have this D. Morgan tarot deck. And we also have oceanic tarot deck with this beautiful green diamond stone so choose intuitively and i will pick up i will meet you on your reading so let's start the reading hey group number one the people who choose this rose quartz and then we also have this uh, modern witch tarot deck so let's start your reading all about your person let's see what's going on with your person keep an open mind it's a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest let's see what's going on with your person their thoughts intentions feelings everything all that stuff we have the page of cup we have the hermit we have the ten of pentacles reverse queen of cups we also have a nine of wands so five of pentacles strength nine of pentacles justice one more thank you and we have the hierophant bottom of the deck is the emperor okay so you're dealing with a third party this is definitely someone that who is already married or commitment there is a third party here one person is married or in a commitment or relationship the other person could be single so you can take whatever resonate maybe you're single and they are in a commitment or marriage or with someone else or you could be the married person and they're single but for some of you you both could be there's a multiple parties, but I'm strongly feeling third party here. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have any fire sign, any wa uh, water sign or earth sign. All the signs are present here. So your person's current energy is like they want to send you a message. They're imagining, they're thinking about it, but they're not doing it. This could be someone who ghosted you. Okay, they stop talking to you, talking to you, you may be not in a contact with this person, or maybe there is in and out situation here if you're dealing with this person, but I'm strongly feeling this is a ghosting energy with the hermit and the strength card. For some of you, you stop talking to this person, you step back because you know that this is not a good idea if this person is in a relationship or with someone else, you feel like no, it's not a good idea, you walked away, you stop talking to them. You maybe deleted your Instagrams, your social media accounts. So maybe this person does not re can, cannot reach out to you or something. They maybe you blocked them or they blocked you. It's definitely Ten of Pentacles reverse here. There's definitely talking about some family issues here between you and this person. They could they could be their family, yours. I don't know. Are you both families issues involved here? For some of you, this could be um, commitment issue. Like this, if this person is single, they're not married. This person has some commitment issues. Because with the Nine of Wands and the Hierophant, this person maybe does not believe in marriage or commitment or they're not ready for it. They could be, um, you could have a different be beliefs and um, different culture. That could be talking a problem here maybe. Because I'm seeing with the Nine of Pentacles, one person is definitely single here. And the other person could be in a relationship. But this could be talking about if you both are single, you're not on the same page. There's an issue here. So you may be walked away, you're not talking to them, there is definitely no contact here. I'm also seeing age gap here, does not have to be. I'm also seeing uh, one person could have a child already, you could be single parent, are they? 
I'm seeing with the Justice and Hierophant, things are definitely... Maybe this person has some type of a reputation in a community. They could be a leader, teacher, a boss, or someone that who is well-respected in the community. So they don't want to run the reputation. This person could be keeping this marriage if they are in a marriage or commitment because for the sake of community, for the sake of their family, but they're not happy in that. So now let me see. And we have the emperor, so they could be already a father. But if it's not a father, this person is definitely like your divine masculine with the emperor here. Now let's see what is their next move towards you. What are they going to do next? Their next move towards you, eight of swords. Yeah, this person is restricting themselves. They're not ready. They're also not communicative. I feel this person does not know what do they want right now. They're stuck in the situation. They're feeling helpless because they have to make a decision here. But this is all they're ahead. They're stuck in their head. They can't make up their mind. Yeah, look at this queen of pentacle here. For some of you, this could be a uh, same gender sex relationship. Does not have to be. But I'm seeing there's a third party here. Yeah, this person is married to someone with this queen of pentacles. Or they could be in a relationship right now. There's definitely two queens here. And we have the eight of pentacles reverse. Yeah, this person is definitely two. You could be seeing a lot of eights and nines. Um, this could be a karmic partner. You're going through a karmic cycle with this person. This is also someone that they are in a karmic relationship. They're not happy in that. Eight of pentacles reverse. Yeah. This person is not willing to work with you. It's not equal give and take. You are right now ace of cups. Yeah. So a lot of you, um, they will approach you and come back to you maybe within, a, I'm not seeing this person is coming very soon though. This could take one year. Maximum one year, like this person need to get out of this situation, get out of this um, problem that they're, they are in. Because this person is stuck right now. They're also not happy. They're not even willing to work with you right now. They're not working on it. Not doing anything because they're helpless. Uh, because this could be a money involved here, maybe that's why. But this could be a family involved. I'm also seeing Ace of Cup. Uh, for some of you, now you have a choice to be with this person, to stay in this connection and wait for this person. Um, for a new beginning for others of you maybe you're going to choose new love I'm not going to lie here because what I'm seeing here I'm seeing here um, let's see anything else here with this romance cards here we have this could be the one you already met the romantic partner for some of you maybe you have a choice between two people yeah we have the playfulness here maybe this person will come around to you want to still have you uh, in their life but they are married oh my god this person is married you're dealing with someone who's married or in a commitment with someone else. And they still want to have this fun and put you aside, you know. Like um, they want, they feel like you're the one because they, you have this emotional contentment with this person. You have a history with this person. They feel like you're the one. You feel like this could be the one. And they maybe come around to you and you have a union. But this, still, this person is still stuck in this third party. For others of you, this could be someone that they will make the move and they're going to propose you if they're not married married here because i'm seeing this person is stuck in 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 some commitment issues if they're single okay because this person is right now struggling if they're ready for commitment or not one more we have let your friends help you for some of you you're reaching out to a lot of psychics tarot readers to get some insight on this connection basically what you need to do let's see New love. So a lot of you, I told you, a new love or commitment to, or recommitment to love is developing. Ace of cup and new love. A lot of you, you may be going to choose a new love. Or maybe this is new love is you're giving to yourself. Your focus is all about you. Self-care and all about you. This love you're giving to yourself, not to this person. Because maybe this is the right thing to do right now. And for others of you, this is talking about new love. Like you're going to choose a new love. Because this person really need a time to come to you. To make a mind. To make up their decision. They're stuck in their own ways. For some of you, they want to be with you, but their family is stopping them. Or they could be... Yeah, there's definitely some, some manipulation going on here. From their family or friends. We have a patience. Yeah, be patient. If you're, if you're willing to stay, this is your choice. So be patient because this person still needs a work to do. They're definitely dealing with some addictions. For others of you, I'm seeing this person has their own addiction, like they're, they're, they're afraid to get married. 
our commitment. So they may be flirting and playing around with other other chicks too, and they want to keep keep with you too. Keep you in their life. Let's see what is their messages. What do they want to say? There are channel messages for you. We have, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So this is a spiritual lesson for a lot of you. You're going to learn it and maybe you're going to move on. We have, it's time for me to heal now. Yeah, this person is healing. You maybe awaken something in this person, spiritually. And they feel the connection with you, for some of you. With this Ace of Cups, it's like self-care, addiction. They're definitely working on the addiction, trying to do something. I remember every detail of that day. Maybe the moment you met or dated or maybe for some of you it's, it's like sexual nights that you have this thing. I replayed our conversation over and over. You and I were too young. So a lot of you, this is a playful energy. You are dealing with someone who's very young and playful, not responsible. Are you both were? Maybe. You have, I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, this I told you this person is thinking about a message, but they can't reach out to you because you block them or they're blocked right now with the Eight of Swords. Like they don't know how to approach you, how to come forward. My life is not as together as it seems. This person is definitely going through some of their own stuff right now. So they're stuck in their ways. So let me see what is the future of this connection, where this relationship is heading to, and then I will move towards next pile. Where this relationship is heading to? We have the Grim Reaper. Oh my God. The relationship is over. No second chances. For some of you, you are done. Grow and the transformation, you transition your life. You could be dealing with Scorpio. For some of you, this is over from your side maybe. You already learned the lesson. Or maybe they already trying to move on from, the, from you. There's no second chances here. So you have to accept it as, as it is. Whatever is coming. But if you don't want to, it's up to you. Yeah, heartbroken. So a lot of you, um, yeah, you're going to be heartbroken, but it's, it's going to be a good for you because I feel like this is a spiritual lesson that you need to learn to love yourself and get out of this addiction. For some of you, this is your own addiction, like you're addicted to this person, even though you know this person is with someone else. They're in a third party and they still wanna you want to be with this person, but you need to heal because maybe this is, was a spiritual lesson that you need to learn to love yourself and protect your energy. Keys on a ring, many options and choices, hand of a card. Yeah, it's a risk. It's really a risky connection. So if you really want to keep going on, it's up to you. Because I'm saying it's a risky, it's a hand of cards and we have the keys on ring. It's a risk that you're taking a chance and risk on this connection. For some of you, this person has many options and they don't want to settle down. They want to keep open their choices and options. And that's why you're heartbroken. And this person will keep breaking your heart, breaking your heart. So be careful. And for others of you, this is someone in a third party. So you have a choice, honey, to stay in this connection and be patient and wait for this person to get out of this addiction and learn their lesson and do your own work, inner work or something. And for others of you, this is someone that you are going to choose new love. You're not going to wait for this person because for you, it's relationship is over. Or for them, maybe. I don't know They're with where this relationship is heading. Okay, so this is your reading. And it's a timeless. So whenever you're going to... Again, I want to tell about it here, uh, clear here, that future is unpredictable. This is the reading, current energies that you both are in, or your person is dealing with it. So maybe anything can happen in the future, but still we don't know. This is what a prediction here. Okay, so don't fix on it. You have a free will. You can wait. You can move on. So I'm going to move on to a next reading. Bye. Okay, group number two, if you chose Amethyst and this Demorgan Tarot deck, let's see. Clear the energies. A previous pile and let's figure it out all about your person their current feelings their thoughts intentions and next move and then channel messages and where this relationship is heading to let's see so let's see what this person is currently feeling thinking oh my goodness oh my goodness the hardness is here with the lovers here mm. we know that We know that. Okay. This is a very spiritual pile. I'm not going to lie here. Wow, look at this. Four of Wands, Lovers. This is Twin Flame, Soulmate. This is your uh, Soulmate, Twin Flame. Higher level of um, Soulmate. Some, something divine. It's a cosmic connection. It's, it's out of your control. 
We are bottom of the deck chariot. This person is determined to be with you. They're very determined, by the way. This could be someone who is dist uh, distant from you right now. Um, they could be Cancer, Pisces, Gemini. I'm getting Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Could be any sign. There could be an age gap between you and this person. Very prominent. For some of you, it's, it's definitely with the world. It's like you both are in a different countries or world. Or there could be a travel involved here. Or you met this person on internet or social media. This person is watching you, though. This person is observing you with this, um, yeah, two pages here. This is definitely talking about someone who is younger than you. Or they're very youthful. But I'm seeing a young energy here. Um, and you are this uh, mystery to this person with a high priestess. You are a mystery to this person. Yeah, I want to say it again. You wanna, you are a mystery to this person. This person feel like you're hiding something. You're not open. You're not. You're mysterious. You're also a mystery that this person want to solve. They're watching you, observing you, secretly maybe. They they don't want to reveal it. I feel this person could be seeing you like their their divine counterpart. They maybe feel like with a lover's card. This is definitely someone. Who is in love with you with the four of wands it's a twin flame 11 11 and the lover soulmate twin flame maybe they don't know about it and you they know they know this thing that you are something to them because they they, they feel like you're very alluring to you they feel very pulled towards you but they they feel some cosmic pull towards you they feel like why universe is pushing them towards you why they feel like you are the one even though maybe they never met you in person or they don't talk even to you. There's no communication. Or maybe it's a less communication. Like you could be just starting up. You both could be teenagers or same age or same gender. Does not have to be. But this is this this person looks like they feel they could be inexperienced in romance. Or in, they could be inexperienced or immature in the sense of the spiritual world or soulmate or twin flame. They, they maybe don't know about it. And they maybe feel you know all this mystery. You know all this stuff. How? So they may be... This is someone who's very, very attractive to you. Like physically, this person feels like you're the one. They have a sexual desire, but it's not just a sexual or lust or desire for you. But they also feel some pull towards you. They feel like you are home to this person somehow. They feel like you are the one that they want to marry with the Knight of Swords and Four of Wands. They could be planning about marriage in the future. Or they want to have something with you in the future, right? And they could be wanting to do it, right? But the problem is... They could be stuck right now with these two of pentacles juggling like how to make these things work if you both are in a different continent of the world or different countries in the world or there is maybe difference here. Societies, culture, religion, languages, barriers. So this person is right now figuring it out like how it is going to work out between you and them. That's what this person is stuck in. They could have options too like a choice to mate they could be juggling between two things i'm not feeling it i'm strongly feeling they could be they could be not they're not sure how these things are going to work out they're not sure they know that they want you they know they want to have a family with you they want to build something but they don't know how for some of you this person could be secretly like they could be trying to pretend like they're not they're not interested but they are they could be secretly watching you they could be playing on internet or social media like they're dating someone else, but it's not. It's a lie. So don't fall into this person trap. Um, this is a cosmic connection. It's protected by the God and universe. I feel like you need to trust your intuition about this person. If you really want to keep continue, you need to trust your intuition about this person. This is definitely your twin flame and soulmate. I, I can give you the one confirmation in this connection. It's, it's your soulmate. It's something from the divine. It's something from cosmic plan. It's out of your hand. Like you can't do it. You can't help it. It is. It is mean to be. Now, I feel like starting energy with the seven of pentacles and eight of swords. So you could be dealing with, okay, I want to talk about Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, um, any water and fire sign or earth sign. I don't want to. Please don't fix on it, these things. Seven of pentacles and eight of swords. This person is not investing in you. And you are like, why? This person is not doing anything and you're like, why? This person is not heading up and you are like, why? So you are stuck in this uh, energy of you don't know the things. You maybe feel restricted. You're not contacting them. You're not in a communication. This person is also 
have this potential they feel the potential with you but right now i don't feel this person step up but i'm seeing this person is stepping up with the world and page of wands reaching out to you in your dm in your social media very soon especially in a leo season i'm getting for some of you you have a two people in front of you and you have a choice and maybe that's why you are stuck you want to know that that you have a potential with who right so maybe you have a choice and you are juggling between two people or maybe this person is juggling between two people so they have a choice but this person is going to choose you or you are going to choose this person vice versa but you have a choice this is a choice based here because i'm seeing with the page of swords and the high priestess you need to trust your intuition and do the thing or maybe you are attracting these people or these two people are interact because i'm strongly feeling this is two different people from a different places but nobody is stepping up for something serious and you really want to know who is the right person i'm also getting with this knight of swords and four of wands i feel like you're really you're really thinking about whoever the person is going to make a move and ask you for dating or romance or marriage are going to propose you you're going to choose that person so now you want to see who is going to step up between these two people if you're dealing or juggling with it or you have these two people in your mind especially for others of you this is them thinking about it they have a choices and they want to think about it who is going to step up and offer them this is very strange judgment yeah this is definitely spiritual connection knight of cups oh my god cards are flowing up so this is a uh, rebirth of a connection you're definitely going to be in a romantic connection very soon i'm getting you're going to date this person very soon maybe if you never dated or if you're thinking about who you are going to choose you may be single right now are you in a complicated um situationship with this person or with the two people i don't know why i'm saying two so there's a lot of twos here okay maybe this person has a choice between two people so you know better your life than me i'm reading the cards here so let's start the action of this person what is the next move spirit what is the next move maybe you have this person in your mind you're waiting for there is someone else here watching you mm -mm, who knows what is going to happen next in the future we have the sun oh my god oh my god <laughs> twist we have the sun queen of swords and we have the judgment the mm, decision is yours honey this is your decision decision is yours like who you are going to choose who you want to be stay with this is your life i feel there's a two people here in front of you wow devil this person is obsessively watching you these people are definitely attractive to you physically mentally romantically we have the sun you have a definitely a soulmate twin flame someone that who makes your soul happy so you may be your soul knows who is the right person again trust your intuition your soul knows the answer the person who is in your soul or your your inner voice your intuitions are telling you choose that person if you have two people and if you don't have two people this person has a choice so they're going to choose you with a sun card they want to see face to face like you are my happiness so they're going to choose their happiness that is you you're not in a contact with them or they may be seeing you you're beautiful you're attractive you're out of this world you could be have a leo gemini or any fixed sign in you you could be sagittarius woman too or pisces this person is addictive and obsessed with you but we have the devil and three of cups so there's a third party so be careful be careful who you are choosing because there's a third party here or there could be another woman involved here right i don't know this could be a definitely but the devil and three of cups also talk about addiction like this person could have some serious addiction and you don't know about it mm -mm. Mm -mm. so we have the judgment this is someone <laughs> okay what should i say here like with the sun and judgment and with the lovers this is like your soul already chose this person like you can't make the shit up here you can't make the decision here like what are you waiting for your soul already chose this person like you could have a past life karma with this person this person also have your past life karmic soulmate 
or maybe in this lifetime you're karmics, but you have a past life karma. Like you know it, honey, you know it, who the person is. The person that you're going to make a family with, children with, or they could have already, you have a children with this person. For some of you, you could be single parent with this queen of swords or divorcee. And they're going to choose you, or maybe this person is a divorcee. Or they could be coming out of a divorce, who knows, right? They could be leaving something behind for you because they want to be happy with you. Their soul is choosing you. So whatever the next move is like, they're choosing you, period. I don't know, whoever the person is. Or maybe you are choosing this person. This is what the next happening between you and this person. Let's see more. This is Amethyst, so it's healing. So you could be a spiritual healer. Wow, yeah, you have the high priestess here. So welcome on my channel. If you are a fellow tarot reader, intuitive, psychic, healer, energy worker, spiritual, light worker, empath, with the Amethyst, you definitely have some healing energy. You could be a star seed, indigo child. I don't know. You definitely have something to do. And these two people are definitely two are. I'm getting two people are definitely attractive to you because of your this energy, your aura, your, your your energy. And you have a choice between two people. For others of you, this is them. They're choosing you if they have a choice. This is definitely a past life relationship. Like you can't. This is mean to happen. This is mean to happen. It's soul. It's, it's, it's your souls choosing each other. It's a soul contract. I'm hearing honeymoon. Yeah, a lot of you, you are going to meet this person in a different country or they will come to you. For some of you, it's un they could be coming out of an unrequited love or you may be feeling this person does not love you, but they do. Yeah, re reconciliation here. There is a reconciliation and we have a free yourself. Yeah, it's, it's definitely out of your will. It is going to happen when it's happened. It is. It is going to happen, okay? So now let's see where this relationship... No, I think I want to see that. Anything else? About this connection. We have obstacles. Yeah, there's definitely unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement here. There's definitely obstacles here between you and this person. This person is stuck in this situation like they don't feel like they can do it. They're, this person has a lot of fears because again it's a twin flame and soulmate so they are definitely going to feel it there's obstacles you both are feeling obstacles because this is totally different it's, it's definitely a different connection we have a marriage that this relationship is moving toward a sacred union marriage i told you it's a marriage it's a commitment it's, it's, it's making children are being in a marriage here yes we already have a marriage card so this is this this and this relationship has a potential future strongly for others of you you are going to choose yeah we have a sport no this is a lot sorry okay one more we have a fate this is a destined partnership <laughs> i love it when universe give me the confirmation here i told you you're destined to be together. You're destined to marry. These obstacles, these challenges are just a part of your journey. You're going to overcome through that together or individually, I feel. But you are going to choose this person or this person is going to choose you because it's fate. It's destiny. It's, it's already divine plan. It's a cosmic, sacred union, partnership. Let's see what are their channel messages. What do they want to say? So many things remind me of you. You could be seeing a lot of, I wonder if you are happy without me. Yeah, this person definitely wondering if you still care about them, think about them, because I feel you're not in a contact. You both are not in a contact. You both are not stepping up. You maybe walked away and stopped communicating with them, but you still, your soul is still there with this person. Oh, honey, what are you doing? I remember every detail of that day. I don't know what is this, um, maybe the last day that you talk, or this could be a meeting romantically sexual we have i hope that you can forgive me one day this is some this is someone who wants your forgiveness this is uh, with a judgment it's also rebirth of a connection here i know i messed up everything this person is definitely know that lucky you that they are definitely realizing what they did you came closer than anyone this person never fell in love so maybe this is their first time i told you this person is inexperienced in love it's time for me to heal now. This person is healing because there's a lot of 
unhealed wounds here. Maybe this person has some parental or uh, uh, issue or childhood issue that they're right now trying to heal. But they will come. This is moving toward marriage and fate. Now let's see where this relationship is heading to. We already have a fate, destiny and marriage. But still, let's see. We have a girl talk. So a lot of you, this is someone time with friends moving on happily single loving in the movement having fun so a lot of you you are doing you you're doing yourself and you need to keep doing that because look at this free yourself from this free yourself from this uh, then when it's going to happen or do any expectations no have fun do your life live your enjoy enjoy your life whatever you're doing because it is going to happen on the time mask yeah this person is is definitely not showing their true feelings could be they could be in a karmic relationship they could be leaving their karmic relationship for you or this could be your karmic relationship with this person yeah but this is soulmate okay they're like you're mean to be together but there's a lot of obstacles and karmic issues that you both need to heal in order to be in union we have uh, this person is not showing their true feelings they're still hiding they're pretending they don't care but they are they could be gaslighting yeah this is definitely someone who's putting the mask in front of you but you need to trust your intuition, honey. You know who this person is and what do they feel for you. If your soul is feeling it, their soul is feeling it too. Look at this fire. It's passion. It's mutual. This person loves you, but they're not telling you because of insecurity or because of these obstacles. We have X. Definitely break up. You're in a separation with. Um, stop the pattern. We have a silent treatment. They're giving you silent treatment or you are not talking to them. You both are giving each other silent treatment, by the way. This person also has some abdomen issues. Like they're going, they feel like you're going to reject them or you're not going to be with them. You are going to... Yeah, they're definitely comparing you with their exes or something with their... I, I saw the date. So this person really is going to date you. But some of you never dated this person. Hand of a cards. Some of you, this person has a choices. They're going to take a risk for this connection for all. Obviously, it's a twin flame and soulmate. They're going to break it all. They're going to gamble on this connection. And it's it's definitely endings are new beginnings. So if you're in a in a no contact or ending with this person, they're going to come back. It could be a Scorpio or Gemini. I'm saying uh, growth here, change here. This person could be leaving something behind for you, or they could be closing some chapters releasing someone they are in a separation they're separating themselves from something and they are going to come back this is someone who is heartbroken or broke your heart but don't worry they're going to love you they're going to call you they're going to send you a message but i'm also getting like you also need to be heal yourself do your own work that's what you need to do and then this is going to happen don't expect anything it is going to happen on the time okay so that's your reading. I am going to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hey, group number three, if you choose this beautiful green diamond stone, I'll come in your reading. Let's clear the previous energy. If you choose this beautiful green oceanic tarot deck, let's see all about your person, what's going on with your person energy right now, their feelings, thoughts, intentions, and next move. Then I'm going to predict your channel messages and where this relationship is heading to. Let's see. I'm all about your person. What's going on with your person? What are they feeling, thinking about you? Okay, so we have the Hermit. Four of Swords. This person is in a deep contemplation about this relationship. They could be coming out of relationship. They're in, they could be in a um, deep recovery right now. We have the moon. Mm. Oh my goodness. We have the nine of pentacles. We have nine of wands. We have the three of wands. All these wands, so could be a fire sign, heavy fire in their chart. Does not have to be because I'm getting. We have eighth of swords and then we have the fool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One more because I think there was another row here. 
So luckily we have the two cards. Okay, so we have Seven of Swords and then we have the Death. Mm. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Swords. This person is right now dealing with some drama in their life. There's a lot of things going on in this person's life. They could be Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Fire sign, Earth sign. I'm also getting Virgo here, heavy. Um, they could be Pisces or Capricorn. I'm also getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be any sign, by the way. Don't fix on this. This person is going through a right now a loss or they could be coming out of a relationship. Are they recently got out of a relationship, whoever this person is? Because we have the death and we have the seven of swords. It's a loss. They lost something recently. Are they right now going through a loss? So this, this person could lose someone in their life. They're a dear one or someone. Are they lost? Um, they could be getting out of a relationship. Like they're not happy in that relationship. You know? So they could be coming out of a relationship and with the hermit energy, they could be recently got single. For some of you, I'm hearing they could be a single parent. So or they could be have been single for a long time with the hermit energy. This person, it's been a long time that they did not date it. After this loss that they've gone through, they could lose their parents, family member, their partner. For some, I'm hearing baby. I don't know. Our mother, because I'm seeing the moon here, it could be a mother loss. Something that they lost was really, really dear to them. Our mother of their child or something. For some of you, this is a totally brand new relationship that you're asking about. Because I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords and the new beginning here. Either you are this person new beginning or this is a new beginning for you. This person is a new beginning for you. Because I'm seeing a victory in new beginning. So go for it. Take a leap of faith. Take on the risk on this connection. It is going to worth it. But I feel this person is right now mourning their loss. They could be dealing with their own drama life right now. I'm seeing with the illusion, with the moon card right now, this person is not sure about this connection. They don't have clarity. They don't, or maybe this is you. You are living in this illusion, like why this person is not making a move, why this person is not doing something. And you both are maybe mutually attractive to each other. Um, but this person is definitely all about in their head. I also feel like this person does not have any clarity about you. This could be someone who is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Moon, Water Moon. So they're very, right now, trying to protect themselves. So they don't want to get, get hurt again. Because this is someone who's maybe already hurt in the past, badly, in relationship, or they lost something. So they're definitely, with the contemplation, and the next is recovery, they're definitely thinking about it. They have a definitely... This could be a single person or single parent, I'm hearing. With the Nine of Pentacles, this person is really ready to jump into this new relationship, a new beginning. This could be someone that are you, are you both, have been not dating for a long time. So it's been a long time that you both are coming into a relationship, are starting something new again and fresh. So it's a new cycle for both of you, or a new beginning for both of you. I'm seeing with the Three of Wands and Nine of Wands, this person is really defensive. But they're also feeling motivated to do something with you. They feel the vision with you. They feel the future with you. They feel like you have a potential together. You can do something together. We have three of wands. So this person could be in a different country or place. They need to transform. They need to go through some, some. They need to lose something. They need to leave something behind in order to be with you. And that's what's making them fear. Like they can't do it. But for some of you, this person is, because right now it's single with this nine of pentacles energy, so they are definitely fearing of this connection. Like they feel like they're going to lose their freedom. So it's a risk for them. Let's see what is their next move towards you. Their next actions are moved towards you. What this person is going to do next. What are they planning to do next? Let's see. So we have two of cups, but it's came up reverse. So yeah, this is definitely someone that... Could be in a, another party or in another relationship with someone. One of you may be in another partnership or relationship. And for others of you, this is not equal give and take right now. I'm not seeing a partnership here. It's definitely reverse here. So it's mean that separation could be. Right now it's a separation. We also have a tree of pentacles, recognition. I feel like a lot of you, this person is working on their pentacles and many. They have a vision for the future first. 
they want to earn the money, they want to do something for themselves, then they're going to be, this person, for some of you, this person is not ready for love right now. They have this fear of falling in love and something, like they feel like they're going to lose it, they're going to lose their heart. This person has a fear around love, like they don't want to be in love, they don't want to fall in love. We have five of wands, competition, and this is also six of wands. This is six of wands, success. So this person is all about the success right now. They're motivated to do something. This person's attention is somewhere else right now. Four of wands, reward. It's a marriage card. For some of you, you are going to get victorious with this person. Like This could be your twin flame. Four of wands and two of cups, but you're in separation with this person. This could be someone, they have a lot of fire and air, by the way, in their chart, and water too. You can see that this is, there's no court card here, only hermit card. And I feel like it's a major arcana, it's showing this person, like they are in this energy right now. So there's no court card here. So this person is not hiding, like they're not ready. This person is not showing up. Let me see, where are they? They're not. Look at this lot of drama going on in this person's life right now. They're struggling with it. Knight of Pentacles. They, they are loyal. They are loyal, but they're not ready for this. They could be dealing with some, they, they're definitely coming out of a marriage or relationship. Or there could be some legal matter going on right now in their life. They're struggling with it, especially with their marriage, custody of a child. I'm hearing, or this could be talking about, yeah, there, there's a lot of drama going on in this person's life already. Like they're not ready for another drama I'm hearing. They feel competition. They, they're right now competing for the success. They really want a public recognition if this person is working in some type of a field. Like they really want to be successful first and then they're going to think about marriage. And for others of you, this is someone who could be in already in a public eye and they have a lot of responsibilities and work and other drama going on in their life. They could have a lot of options too, like a competition. But they want to win you. Or they feel like you have a lot of options and right now they feel competition. Like you are going to choose them or not. So they don't want to do, involve in this drama. Like they don't want to compete because they're not ready for this. I feel this person is going through a lot right now in their own life. We have the trust. So I feel like a lot of you, you need to trust. The situation will definitely improve. Have faith. Stay optimistic. So I definitely feel like a lot of you, you have to be optimistic. Things can work, but in the future or maybe approximately five to six months. But not ready. I feel like this person is not ready. Or maybe this person's intentions are not there. Priority is not this connection yet, right now. Because they're doing other stuff. Chemistry. Yeah, this person feels the chemistry and vibe with you on all level. They feel like you could be the one. I told you, this person sees the potential with you in the future. But right now, they're not ready for this. You are in this person's mind. Even though they have a competition and they have options, they maybe feel like you are the best or first option to get married. Give your relationship a chance or be in a commitment or relationship with maybe. You have getting to know each other. Yeah, a lot of you, this is a new connection. Or for others of you, you are in a retreat from this person, disconnected because of the issues going on in this person's life. I feel like this is getting to know each other and give your, this person is definitely going to give this relationship a chance. They're going to get to know you better on a deeper level because they feel like you are the same, your soulmate, your twin flame, or if they feel the chemistry with you. So you have to have trust and have faith. Things are going to work out. But in the divine timing, not on your timing. You have a strong potential if this is an, a new connection, by the way. You have a strong potential with this person for the future. So get to know each other and give this relationship a chance. Go slow, yeah. This person really wants to take these things slow. Or maybe you need to do that if this is a new person. Twin flame. Here you go. So a lot of you, you're dealing with your twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. For others of you, I feel like if they are in a commitment or with someone else, you are their twin flame. That's what they're going to realize very soon. Because chemistry, it's like they're going to feel that something with you. They're going to feel like you are the one. Like you are their other half. Why they're in this connection? So they may be going to leave this marriage or connection be behind for you. Unavailable, yeah, I told you, I told you it's a confirmation. This person is unable to give you all you deserve right now because are they in the process of healing? Okay, they're healing their own issues, abdomen issues, childhood issues. 
For some of you, it's a spiritual lesson that they are coming out of it. Are they learning right now? There could be a karmic connection. For some of you, this is like you both are in other relationships and you're seeing each other as a potential. They could be coming out of a marriage. So I feel like take it slow. Things You have a strong potential with this person, whoever they are. But right now, they're not available or they can't give you whatever you're looking for. So they're going slow. If this is a new person, you have a strong potential with this person, like twin flame. Like you are mirroring each other. You have a chemistry. You have the vibe. You can vibe on all levels. You came closer than anyone. So this person definitely feel like you have a strong potential. My life is not together as it seems. Yeah, this person is going through a lot. I am becoming a better person. This person is definitely working. They, they could be going through their own personal transformation right now or personal spiritual journey right now. I could not let you get close to me. This person can't because they are already dealing with the drama here. They can't. Don't take it personal, but this person is not ready for this love right now if you're dealing with them already. And for others of you, this is a new person. So go take it slow. But still, maybe they're not opening up to you. I will wait for you. I'll wait for a sign from you. Maybe this person is waiting for you to give them a hint or sign. I feel like you both are attractive to each other mutually. But nobody is taking a risk or take a leap of faith. So we will be together again. This person really want to be with you. This could be someone maybe you have spent some type of a lifetime. In a previous lifetime. And in this lifetime, you're coming together. But you have also other karmic relationships. And they are too. So they are really saying to you that we will be together. This person is, I can't stop thinking about you. This person is continuously thinking about you and they wonder if you're happy without them, if you're in separation. So let's see where this relationship is heading to. Headed to. We have a healing heart. I feel like you both are going through some healing. Or this person, healing their heart. It's really important here in order to be with this person or it's a new or renewal. We have engagement ring. We have a twin flame came up twice. I am done with it. Whoa. Twin flame came up twice from two different decks. So this is your twin flame. But sometimes it's not twin flame. Don't fix on this. It's talk about yin and yang. Balance. You both are opposites of each other. You have a chemistry. You vibe with each other on all level. On all level. Emotional, mental, physical. That's what the twin flame is. It's look like your mirror. So this could be your mirror soulmate or something. So they see in you. They see the potential. They see that you have something. But maybe they're not aware of it yet. Or maybe you don't know the potential of this connection yet. For some of you, it's your twin flame. Or maybe you already know it and you're healing hard. You both could be dealing your own issues or on your spiritual journeys right now. We have engagement ring and date. This person is going to date you. They're going to marry you. This is like I'm locking the deal. They're going to do it. You have a strong potential with this person in the future. But right now, this person is not available. Uh, if, if this is like you're in separation, for others of you, if it's a new person still, you have a strong potential, but you both have something to heal, something from the past and deal with it. Okay? So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. God bless you all and love you all. Bye.